the number one tourist attraction in southern Indiana is Show Caves. If you're not from around here, you might ask, what is a show cave? A show cave is a natural cave that's been made easily accessible to highlight its beauty and grandeur for guests. While some people enjoy crawling through tight, dark, and dangerous caves, show caves aren't like that at all. Show caves include safety rails, a concrete trail, steel bridges, or even a boat, and beautiful lighting to show off the cave's natural features. Best of all, the temperature of most Indiana caves is 54 degrees Fahrenheit year-round, even in the winter. It's like walking through an air-conditioned shopping mall, and yet provides an incredible adventure underground. In southern Indiana, there are six show caves to choose from, and all of them are remarkable in their own way. Come along for an unforgettable adventure as we visit Indiana's show caves. Marengo Cave Park at Marengo, Indiana is incredibly beautiful with more formations than any other Indiana show cave. Tours start here on the upper level of the visitor center. By far, out of all the Indiana show caves, this is the easiest tour. If you can do 22 steps in and out of the cave, you should be fine. There are two tours to choose from, the Crystal Palace and Dripstone. Many people that have never visited a cave will start with the Crystal Palace tour. It's only 40 minutes long and showcases some amazing formations. The tour starts at Mirror Lake. Though it looks extremely deep, it's only a few inches. What you see is a reflection of the ceiling. This tour is simply packed with things to see. The cave was first explored in 1883 by two kids with candles. They were incredibly brave. They saw formations that sparkled and thought they'd found a gold mine. The very next day, tours began, making it the second oldest cave tour in Indiana. Some people worry about tight spaces. It really isn't much different than a series of hallways that open into beautiful rooms. And these are filled with nature's finest creations. Almost everyone that does the Crystal Palace tour will also do the Dripstone tour. This is a one hour tour, but shows even more amazing passages.
This is the penny ceiling. If you toss up a coin, it will stick. And there are thousands of coins up there. Maybe you can add a few of your own. At one point, someone tossed up a cell phone. It's still there. There are several outdoor activities as well, including the popular gemstone mining, where you buy a bag of dirt and let water roll over the contents, revealing all kinds of treasures to take home. Marengo Cave Park is open every day of the year, rain or shine, except Thanksgiving, Christmas, and incredibly bad weather. Indiana Caverns is only 30 minutes southeast of Marengo Cave Park, and most people can do both in the same day. Let's go inside the visitor center and take a cave tour. The cave is part of the huge Binkley Cave system, the longest known cave in Indiana. There are over 40 miles of passages, with a lot more to explore, but rest assured, this tour is only an hour and 15 minutes. At the beginning of the tour, an educational film is shown. It describes how the cave system was formed and introduces you to what you're about to experience. You descend down a corridor like a dark ride at Disney. It opens up into a very large, dramatic room with a 40-foot waterfall and huge formations. The stairwell is enormous, 110 feet. But this is broken up into many landings and does not seem as bad as it sounds. You're rewarded with a glimpse into Indiana's largest known cave system. There are many formations in what seems like an underground temple. This is the only show cave in Indiana with prehistoric bones of extinct animals. The pathways are some of the most dramatic that you'll find anywhere and are all well lighted. Kids of all ages will enjoy the Thunder Bridge. It sounds like thunder if you stomp on it, and this reverberates like thunder throughout the cave. And last but not least, there's an incredible motorized boat tour deep inside the earth. With an electric motor, it's extremely quiet and relaxing, not to mention very memorable. Without a doubt, Indiana Caverns is a cave and recreation area that has it all. In the warmer months, it offers a single person roller coaster, the Bat Chaser. Gemstone mining. And escape rooms, where you interpret clues to find your way out. 
like Marengo Cave Park, Indiana Caverns is open every day of the year, rain or shine, except Thanksgiving, Christmas, and incredibly bad weather. Wyandotte Cave is the oldest show cave in Indiana, with tours starting back in 1850. It has a mysterious and ancient past. While only open seasonably, it's just 18 minutes from Indiana Caverns, or 24 minutes from Marengo Cave Park. Tours start from the small ticket booth. There are actually two caves to tour. Little Wyandotte Cave is relatively short, but has many interesting formations. The tour is between 30 and 45 minutes and is not very strenuous. But Big Wyandotte Cave is a completely different story. This is a two hour tour, one and a half mile journey, the longest show cave tour in Indiana. It will require some stamina, but you will see things here found nowhere else. It is totally worth it. For all practical purposes, Big Wyandotte is a smaller version of Mammoth Cave and has many similar features. It was once called the Mammoth Cave of the North. Though developed for tourists with paths and safety features, it still feels completely wild and untamed in many places. A true adventure like no other. There are a few sections with a low ceiling. If you're very tall, you will have to duck. While the tour is unrushed, there are rugged stairs to navigate in places. You might get a little winded. But if you're looking for a true adventure that feels like something from an Indiana Jones movie, this is absolutely your cave. Saltpeter for making gunpowder was mined for the War of 1812. It was also mined for Epsonite and crystals still form along the trails. An ancient, unknown people mine chert for tools. Tree bark for their torches has been found all over this section of the cave. This type of chert, known as Wyandotte chert, is found here and nowhere else on Earth. There are amazing formations in this cave. Some of them are very rare, such as helictites. They grow in all kinds of odd directions. Instead of flowing downward with gravity, there's a place where people made monuments out of stone, like an underground graveyard. There's a historic temple for the Odd Fellows fraternity. in one of the largest underground mountains in the world. It is absolutely awe-inspiring and unforgettable.
Wyandotte Cave is not open year-round, as bats hibernate here each season. It's open from Memorial Day weekend through Labor Day weekend, closed thereafter to let the bats hibernate in peace. Southeast of Wyandotte Cave, and just 18 minutes south of Indiana Caverns, is the historic and beautiful Squire Boone Caverns. This was the home of Daniel Boone's brother Squire, who considered it a holy place. The tours start at the Visitor Center. The one hour tour takes you on a walk through the woods before you enter an amazing, beautiful world. The formations are simply magical. The cave also has one of the largest rimstone dams in the world. This is the biggest formation in the cave. I see the head of an elephant. What do you see? Squire Boone loved the cave so much that he asked to be buried here. In fact, visitors pass his casket on every single tour. It's the grave in the cave and is the only one in any show cave in America. During the tour, there are some small stairs to climb and descend at places, but none of them are bad. However, at the end, there's a massive spiral staircase. While no one rushes you, it might just take the wind right out of you. Be advised. You can hike up the hill to see the original cave opening. This is where Squire Boone hid from hostile Shawnee Indians. During the summer, a village is open to tour. Get a bite to eat. Buy homemade candles. And bring home beautiful minerals from the rock shop. There's a petting zoo. Zip line. Squarboon Caverns is open every day of the year, except Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. Many people come to Spring Mill State Park in Mitchell, Indiana to walk through the historic village and tour the buildings. Some may not realize that the park sits upon the large Donaldson Cave system and there are many opportunities for exploration and adventure. 
If you have training, equipment, and secure a permit, you can explore several wild caves, such as Hammer Cave, Bronson Cave, Lower Twin Cave, the wet side of Donaldson Cave. If you have a flashlight and a sense of adventure, you can easily tour the dry side of Donaldson Cave via a modern ramp, even without training or permit. It's a small wild cave and you can feel like a regular explorer But saying it's the dry side is not completely accurate. In the summer, the dry side gets really humid and muddy. In fact, a cloud of mist actually floats in the cave. Wear footwear you don't mind getting a little yucky. And watch where you walk. Just realize, there are quite a few stairs down to the cave and back the most of any cave in Indiana. But Spring Mill does have one show cave at the very front of the park. Upper Twin Cave. There is a small fee of $3, in addition to the park entrance fee. But in all of Indiana, it's one of the most relaxing cave tours, and well worth the few extra bucks. There are a few steps to the bottom and back to reach the dock. There is no walking or climbing at this show cave. You put on a life jacket, get in a boat, and the tour guide does the rest. The boats do not have motors. It creates a unique underground adventure that feels very wild. All you'll hear is water splashing against the side of the cave and the reassuring voice of the tour guide. You get a 20 minute boat tour of the underworld. It's just pure peace and a wonderful experience. You can sometimes see cavefish and crawdads as you float through this ancient space. While you only travel about 500 feet into the cave, it actually goes on about a mile or so. As a fun bit of trivia, Upper Twin Cave can be entered upstream on private property. However, if a cave explorer plans to exit on Spring Mill property, they have to pay the park entrance fee. Upper Twin Cave is open Memorial Day weekend through mid-October, though sometimes closed due to high water. Blue Spring Caverns Park is just 16 minutes from Upper Twin Cave. It's nationally recognized as having the longest underground river in America that you can navigate by boat. You start your adventure at the Coal Glazer Visitor Center. A map on the wall showing where the underground voyage will take you. The one hour tour travels one and one quarter miles, providing an unforgettable experience. Be advised, there's a steep path down to the dock. While no one rushes you either way, it might take the wind out of you. The boat tour is like a Disney dark ride, except this amazing world is completely real. You'll see blind cavefish 
in crawdads along the way. And experience a place that is simply otherworldly. Gemstone mining is also offered. Blue Spring Caverns Park is open from mid-March through the end of October. It's sometimes closed due to high water. In southern Indiana, there are many museums. History waterfronts, waterfalls, and exciting trails across the countryside. All sure to make memories. But if you can do a few stairs, walk a few miles, and want an uncommon experience, one that will stay with you a lifetime, Southern Indiana Show Caves are the place to visit. If you don't live in southern Indiana, you can take a flight to Louisville International Airport, get a rental car, and be at a show cave in as little as 38 minutes. The best place to stay is at Corridan, with many good hotels, restaurant choices, and other conveniences. From the hotels, Indiana Caverns, Wyandotte Cave, Squarboon Caverns, and Marengo Cave Park are just minutes away. It's only an hour to Spring Mill's Upper Twin Cave and an hour 15 minutes to Blue Spring Caverns Park. Everything is close. If you're interested in a more wild cave experience that doesn't require training, you're in luck. Spring Mill State Park offers tours at Cave River Valley located at Campbellsburg. From May 1st to August 31st, they offer tours of both River Cave and Endless Cave. River Cave used to be an inner tube, lazy river cave. It still requires a flotation device. Be advised that Endless Cave has one of the largest populations of bats in the state of Indiana. They'll fly around you as you travel a mile into darkness. If you think bats flying around might bother you, it may not be the experience you're looking for. You also wade through ankle to knee high water. But if that sounds like you, tours can be arranged by calling the Spring Mill Access Coordinator at 812-272-2300. Also of note, many of the show caves offer wild cave experiences. If interested, call their offices for more information. Come to Southern Indiana for the beauty, surprises, and the unexpected adventure you didn't know you needed. Indiana's Show Caves.